that's a great day. Jennifer Adams came from humble beginnings, but always loved decorating and the home. After a successful career in interior design and even a popular brand of super soft bedding, but now Jennifer Adams is empowering others with her new book, How High Can You Soar? Eight Powers to Lift You to Your Full Potential. Please welcome Jennifer to Great Day. Good morning. Right. I talked about those humble beginnings. You were a country girl. I am. Way in the people said you go to the country and you keep on going, and that's yeah. where I was raised. <laughs> okay. And you had one of those moms, and I think there was a time where they just did everything. And everything around oh. the home you could point at and say, made that, made that, made that. My mom even made our sofa she by made hand. Your sofa? Yes. She made our coffee table, our painted our walls, we made our draperies, our bedding, everything. My yeah. dad put a roof on our house by himself. Did you appreciate that as a kid? No. Or did you just know that's just how things <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. I was embarrassed to have a picnic table oh. as our dining room table. <laughs> But I'll tell you now that I have realized that they were the platform for my best life and everything and stop blaming them yeah. and appreciating them, my life changed. And getting into interior design, you see what your mom was doing. Yes, it gave me the platform. I didn't even go to school when I started my business, when I was in my early 20s. And because I had the platform from everything I knew from her growing yeah. up. How did you get into design? It was initially I, what you did? Or? You know, I was I had I cleaned houses to earn money for mm -hmm. a long time. I and did then too, I was, you yes. Too? I yes. did. I did, yeah. We were making beds and clean toilets long before we're sitting here on yeah. TV today. So yeah. <laughs> big yeah, so it doesn't matter where you start from. You really have the potential to do what you want. But I started, I went to a six-week trade school, actually, and then started off very small and hardly charged anything to design a home. Right, because so it's when it comes natural to you, you feel like, why would people pay me for this? And then you start well, thinking, wait a minute, people need to pay me for this. You know, I wish it was, I was so insecure. I was yeah. like, I wouldn't even hire myself. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so wow. Okay, we're well, looking at some just some beautiful. <laughs> pictures so. of some things that you've done Thank and then you. you because you say you love the home you extended yes. it even to like the science of sleep I did so I was um, transitioned throughout my career and it's part of what I talk about in how high can you soar mm -hmm. is I wasn't feeling completely content even though all outside appearances I look like I had the world by the tails possibly right. but I was doing everything out of fear for not going back to where I came from I really didn't think about what did I want so many of us that that is our thing we do yes. things out of fear as opposed to what we love to do yes in right? the moment that a mentor of mine said what do you want what would make you happy everything changed because then I suddenly had dreams and the dreams gave me hope and the hope Speaking gave of dreams, me the courage. You have some dreamy bed sheets like she has the softest Thank bed you. sheets in the world, Thank right? You. Yeah, and I realized I wanted to have a product business and I was making beds for clients at that point and had came across the most crazy amazing fabric and decided, you know what, this is my point of difference. I'm launching this. Yeah. I didn't know what I was doing when I started, but fear can be very powerful. It and so is. you can take that energy and make it very powerful for another reason. So we talk about those powers. Uh, personal responsibility is, is one. You know, it's so easy to blame other people. Like mm -hmm. I said, for my parents, like I didn't go to school and I used to blame them for that. Yeah. Well, the moment I realized that I did so many things they told me not to do. Why would I blame them for this? Then a pathway opened up for like the best school for me. Yeah. And everything in my life, the moment you s realize that you have personal responsibility for every choice, every decision you make, and you put away all the shoulds and shouldn'ts yeah. and dream if all you have is pure potential, that's Which is when your world change. I have people ask me all the time, well, I'm afraid. I said, D just make a choice. Yes. Everything that you do is an experience. Learn from that experience. It's not going to be a bad experience unless you yes. know you're in peril. Just do something, right? If Move forward. Fear is normal. Mm -hmm. Expect it yeah. and know, decide to do it anyway, yeah. despite the fear. And then dreaming big. Uh, if you're going to dream at all, why would you like, oh, I'm going to dream small. <laughs> it, I mean, so many of us do, and that is what really, you can't really have a fulfilled life unless you pause and identify what it is you want in the first place yeah. and expand your vision of possibility. And don't be afraid to say it. Like, yes. I, I never would have said, you know, when I grew up, I'm going to be on television. Uh, yeah. That was never, I was going to no. be a doctor, so I thought, you know, that, that's a respectable yeah. thing and that'll be easy to deal with. You know, I don't have to look good. I don't have to, because I was so bothered by, I don't, I don't look good enough to be on TV. I'm not good enough to be on TV. And uh. I just kept getting jobs and I thought, okay. Well, somebody thinks I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> If somebody tells you you're ready, like it's the, almost the imposter syndrome, we we self-sabotage ourselves, yep. hold ourselves back because we think we're not ready when the world knows we are. So when opportunities come, seize them. Yeah. If they're, but also know that you are not your current circumstances. Your current circumstances are your platform for truly your best life, but you have to identify what it is you want. Yeah, your intentions and your yes. stepping stones and your words. Oh, 
the self-talk that we, the negative self-talk that we tell ourselves, I'm not good enough, I'm not this, even the things we say out loud, like you hear people saying, I'm broke, like it's a permanent condition, like a disease, right, right. versus I'm temporarily working through something and I'm trying and choosing yeah, not to spend money broke, on this. You could be broke, are you broken? If you're not broken, you no. have the potential that you talked about to, to move out yes. of that circumstance. Uh, being ready and being fearless, and I, I, think the, I think it's knowing the difference between being arrogant and being confident. Oh. Such a huge yeah, difference. Yeah. Such a huge difference. There's, there's no comparison. The you know, when you set your dream, you may not know how you're going to get there, but you need to break it down into manageable stepping stones, which I talk about. And how high can you soar? Yeah. And you need to do the work now. You need to do the things that scare you, the challenging things, so that you are ready when the opportunity arrives. And no, expect success. That's the one thing you have to program your mind to expect success. Someone's done it before, why not you? Yeah. It's all about your choice. But know that you will have setbacks. And that doesn't mean you're on the wrong path or doing the wrong thing for yourself. You it's could have setbacks or you could find yourself going someplace you never thought you would, like yes, you did, right? So yes. know the difference. Know when opportunities come yes. your way. Uh, the rest of those eight points are your mind, your vision boards, and your resiliency. And what you do in the book is you break it down and make it so easy to follow along. Thank and you. And so it makes it, it just, it's like one of those great things. Put this on your like your nightstand don't let your girlfriends borrow it because they'll never bring it back and so <laughs> but it, it's thank you for doing that because there are so many things out there and it can sometimes get very confusing but you, you make it so we can do our work easily thank you I appreciate yes. that well thank you very much and Jennifer's book how high can you soar is available in stores and online we have a link on our site greatdayhouston.com we're gonna have to get you back because we want to talk bed sheets we want to talk about how to make up the bed when your king comforter <laughs> is too small for the bed all that oh, type of stuff you know what I'm talking I about I can help you with all yes, those things yes yes Okay. Yes.